general's question. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm easing into it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, uh, I see you're, you're supporting Rick Santorum. Um, is uh, uh, his uh, brand of conservatism what, uh, what, I mean, are you feeling that generally here? I mean, Romney spoke a little while ago, and I know that, that uh, you know, a lot of folks uh, in your movement don't uh, feel that he's conservative enough. It's not that he's... He's saying all of the nice conservative things right now. Mm -hmm. It's a question of sincerity and authenticity. Okay. Um, would he be saying something totally different if the party had a different uh, prevailing ideology or philosophy? And I think that's not just a conservative thing. I think that's a human issue where people are distrustful of anyone that changed their tone. Imagine if you had a, uh, someone who was 100% pro-life, 100% pro-Second Amendment, 100% uh, against gay marriage and all of a sudden he decides to move to run for office in Oregon. And all mm -hmm. of a sudden he's, oh no, I believe a woman has a right to choose. Right. I'm for gay marriage, I'm for gun control, I'm for abortion, uh, legalized abortion or paid abortion by taxpayer dollars. I think liberals would rightfully have an issue with this individual. Mm -hmm. uh, not because that person's not liberal enough, but what he's saying now doesn't square what he said before. Right. And it seems that his philosophy changes with the constituency that he's trying to make. Well, I mean, isn't that kind of the, the way of uh, American politics, though? Where, 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 where the, the, the Republicans run right for the, uh, yeah, but, the primary and then back to the yeah, center this, for the general. This isn't about right or left. I mean, these are major philosophical shifts we're talking about. We're not talking about saying, oh, I was for a 15% tax cut, now I'm for a 10% tax cut. It's not going from, uh, I'm just for banning certain guns versus other guns to not no, banning against all bans. It, it's just a massive shift in philosophy. I think Americans of all political stripes would be suspicious of that. I mean, that's, that's my take. I mean, I, I think he's inauthentic. I don't think he can win the election. I think he is guaranteed to get 48% of the vote or any other. Uh, and uh, he's not going to get the base fired up. He's not going to sell people over. He's got no credibility in health care. I mean, I don't understand how he's going to be in the debate with Obama, particularly about the specifics of Obama's uh, health care policy, when Obama has said time and time again, I've borrowed things from you. And Santor, I mean, not Santor, Romney is still not, you know, renounced his own system. He keeps defending it. Oh, states should have a right to do Romney kill. Well, you know, that's disturbing, you know, because there are aspects of Romney care that, that just don't square with the free market. Mm -hmm. You know, compelling people to buy insurance. Oh, people get a free ride. Where well, are you going to have that everywhere? Mm -hmm. You can't build a, a system that works 100%. But you shouldn't be, you know, rather than worrying about 5%, don't be, you know, you shouldn't go around compelling 15 or 20 or making people buy fines uh, if that's cheaper than actually complying with the law. It's, uh, all it is is another way of really raising taxes. You know, get it from others. But I think Romney is just inauthentic, he's not sincere. And it could be, if Romney had tried to do the opposite of the Democratic Party, I would expect the Democratic base to then I support him. Um, I uh, don't know whether you noticed the, the Occupy folks going down the street. Uh, the baseball dudes? Oh, you saw those guys, yeah. <laughs> Baseball fans, I thought it was clever. Yeah, it was clever. Yeah. Um, so they, they, um, are they also going to uh, pick it out in front of Timothy Geithner's house? I'm sorry. Are they going to pick it in front of Timothy Geithner's house? I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> if, they, if they're not worried, I mean. Maybe they should. But, 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 you know, and I'm not a Romney fan, but I do have a problem with this. He pays 15% off of the investments. Well, that's a return based upon money he's invested that he's already paid, that, that he earned, that he already paid taxes on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he's really being double taxed. Uh, he's getting, I mean, I 
I mean, in order to get the money to invest, you have to have already paid money on it. That the investment worked out uh, very well, well, that's, that's why we only charge, do a 15% uh, tax on it. So, I, I don't see why people need to be concerned about that part. I mean, he, he paid his dues on the money he earned on the first go round. What he's making on this go round is to profit off of the profit he already paid taxes on, that he is paying taxes on now, just at a different level, 15%. And most Americans don't pay taxes at all. Well, not, not substantial income tax. I mean, anyone that makes money with a paycheck or even private uh, prior to ship all pay the uh, Medicare and Social Security fight. But that's not the issue I have with my, my, my concern with Ron is I don't think he can win. And I don't think he... Uh, I don't think he believes in what he says. Mm -hmm. so, any other questions? All right, well, thanks a lot.